Okay, so in this video, I want to talk to you about the file manager in Typo 3. And to get to the file manager in this left-hand navigation, you can see here at the bottom, we've got the file manager. So if we just click that. Now what the file manager is, is it's the place within your Typo 3 site where you're going to upload and store any relevant assets for the website. And by assets, that could be images, it could be documents, videos, uh, it could even be audio clips. Any of the kind of assets that are required across the site could be a range of different things. Images and documents tends to be quite common and within the file manager, it's a, it's a simple folder system. And these folders will be different from site to site. So if you're looking at your own Typo3 website, you won't necessarily see the same folders we've got on our website here. Uh, this, much like the page tree, is a hierarchical uh, list, so we can expand certain folders and see that they've got folders within. And I'm probably going to focus mainly on photos for the sake of this video and just show you a few of the things that you can do. Now, one thing I would say about the file manager is it's really important to try and keep this folder structure as organized as possible. We see some sites that have been around for a while and we have like one top level photo folder, which has just got hundreds upon hundreds of images inside of it. And this becomes quite difficult to manage, quite difficult to find images that you've uploaded and certainly difficult from a housekeeping perspective. So if you are creating a new page, for example, and you know that you're gonna have quite a few images on that page, it's perhaps worth creating a folder in your file manager with a similar name where you can just keep the images for that page in a specific place, or perhaps you had a campaign or a type of image, it's worth trying to divide it off. You can see for our website here, we've got sort of blog images, news images, newsletter images, project related images, and things like that. So um, what we can do is we can click on a folder and it will open that folder up and it will show us any folders that are inside as well as any of the images that are in there. You can now see the thumbnail of the images as well. Now, if you wanted to create a new folder in the file manager, you, you start by choosing the folder you want to put it in. And then at the top here, we can click this new button. If we click that, it's going to ask us how many folders we want to create and we can choose up to 10. I'm just going to choose one and then it'll ask you to give the folder a name. If you'd have chosen more than one, it would give you more than one name field as well. So I'm going to create a folder called training folder and I'm just going to click create folders. And you can see that what it's done is it's created that folder here in the file manager sort of tree, page tree, and um, it's removed the space and replaced it with an underscore. So that's the normal behavior. It won't put spaces in the folder names. So within that training folder, we've, this is now just an empty folder. So if we want to upload our media, we can then here at the top, we've got upload files. And if we click that, what it will do is it will open a finder window and we can browse to our desired image. I'm just going to use this placeholder image and then you click open and you can see that it has uploaded. You can do multi-select uh, within the browser um, file window when you open that. So you can, it's a great way to bulk upload images. If you've got like a hundred images that you need to get on the site, then you can select them all and upload them in one go. You don't have to do them one at a time. And you can also drag and drop files here, um, which is quite a nice feature, which is only just coming in one of the more recent Typo 3. You see, I've just dragged that there. In this occasion, it's actually telling me that it already exists. So I'm just gonna cancel that, but you can see how that function works. So once we've added our image here, and this would be just the same for any media that we're adding to the file manager, we can uh, go back to our list view by clicking on the folder, and there we can see this is the image that we've placed in here. And here we've got an edit button. And if we edit that, 
what we can do is we can give the image a correct title. Now, this isn't so important for images, but it is important if these were documents and you were gonna output these documents in a list on the front end, then obviously you wouldn't necessarily want it to be called placeholder.gif or document underscore report or whatever it might be in your instance. So give it a name that you would expect it to be seen as on the front end of the website. You can see it's also got the creation date and the modification date. You can give images a description. So this is the meta description. And very importantly, it's really good practice to add some alt text to every image that you've got on the site. And if you add the alt text here within the file manager, every time this image is used on different pages and around the website, it will use this alt text. So it's kind of do it once and then anywhere the image appears, it will have the correct alt text. So I've just added some sort of placeholder. And then I'm just going to save and close that. So that's done. So yeah, that is a brief overview of the file manager and how to create a folder and upload an image directly into the file manager. Thanks for watching.